What's going on, gang? Matt here. Happy Wednesday. With your Wednesday word, I want to ask you a question. What are you thinking about? Sounds like an easy question, but I want you to think about what are you thinking about? We, it's very easy to realize we're living in crazy, crazy times. Um, somebody asked me the other day, they wrote me on Snapchat, said, Matt, where's God in all this? I seem like a man of faith. Where, where's God in all this? And I was thinking, it's amazing how that is so much about perspective. One of my favorite Bible verses, John, I mean, uh, Philippians chapter four, verse eight, it says, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever's true, whatever's noble, whatever's right, whatever's pure, whatever's lovely, whatever's admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. So he said, where's God in all this? In my mind, I was thinking, where's God? Man, I was just now praying about God. Thank you for in, in a crazy time of health crisis, you're keeping me super healthy. Thank you, God. In a time when all churches should be shut down, you're giving us an amazing online church experience that we can still hear the word from multiple churches, hear tons of praise and worship songs from not just my church, so many other churches. Thank you, God. God, during this time, it allows me to be home with my kids more. We're doing online church with my kids. I'm learning Bible verses. I'm learning songs. I'm, I'm reading scripture and stuff with my kid. Thank you, God. So you say, where's God? Look around. We, we want to put God in our box and say, God, here's how our normal life is. Here's how we should be doing things. If it's outside of that, where are you? The Bible says his ways are higher than our ways. The ways of his, it's not even known a lot of times. Somebody, I was th thinking also, you know, you get your Bible, Bible 66 books. You have two parts, the Old Testament and the New Testament. Do you know between the Old Testament and the New Testament, before the angel appeared, before Mary had said Christ is coming, there was 400 years of silence. Think about that. In this Bible, two sections. Between the first section, the Old Testament and New Testament, 400 years of silence. It's God. He can do whatever he wants. Why did he do that? I don't know. But he did it 400 years. So the grandparents and the great-grandparents and the great-great-grandparents and the great-great-great-grandparents and so forth heard nothing from God. Before he created the world, he's speaking through prophets. He's parting seas. He's shutting the mouths of lions. He's killing giants. He's, uh, like I said, raising, raising, uh, turning fire, fire from heaven. He's raising the dead. He's spitting out men from fish. He's doing all these things in the Old Testament. And then 400 years of silence. And then, boom, that angel appears and says, a Savior's coming, which we know, obviously, is Jesus. When you're thinking, where is God? And you start questioning things, always know the foundation of our faith is what has already happened. Yeah, we're having a great life now. Yeah, we're going to go to heaven. But all that stuff is because of what has already happened. That's the gospel. The gospel stands for good news. What already happened is Jesus Christ took your sin debt, my sin debt, and nailed it to that cross. And the Bible says our greatest work, our righteousness is like filthy rags to God. But God loved us so much. He didn't want to keep that separation. He sent Jesus to die in our place, a death you and I deserved on the cross. So that now we can have salvation. We can be right to God. We can go to heaven one day because of the work Jesus did. When you accept Christ as your Savior and you put your faith and your trust in what he did on the cross, that's where the joy and the happiness comes from. So when you start finding yourself confused and you're wondering, where's God, what's going on? Always remember, don't look at what is. Reflect back to what already happened. It's what he already did do on that cross that gives us that peace and that joy and that comfort even in the most trying times like today or any other time or 9-11 or wars or whatever, as a Christian, you can have comfort through all that because of what Christ has already done. So you say, where is God? He's in the midst of us and he's, he's working today like he was yesterday. He'll be working tomorrow. See the good in the world, whatever's true, noble, right, pure, lovely. Think on these things. So think about what you're thinking about. Be intentional with your thoughts. As Christians, we're called to think about the good, see good in others, go out and tell others about Christ. That's what God wants us to do during this time. God's here with us like he was yesterday, like he is today, like he'll be tomorrow. Never forget it. That's your Wednesday word. Check out AcousticSelection.com. You guys have a great rest of your week. God bless you.